Council leaders are pushing hard to move the dial on progress in the city. Tonight we have the new data that is showing how much that work has actually pushed the city forward. Thank you for joining me on 2 News at 10. I'm Kara Morset. And we're going in depth on that data in our top story tonight. 2 News Oklahoma's Brody Myers is taking us through the annual equality indicators report from the city. Now, Brody, Tulsa scored worse in this most recent report than in 2022. What else did you find? Karen, there are a lot of moving parts to this report. It's more than 70 pages and rates Tulsa on 54 different areas. So some areas got better year over year and some areas got worse. A notable decrease, homelessness by disability, and a notable increase, business ownership by gender. Lori Nair, a woman who owns a business here in town, is a living example. We love being in Tulsa. I mean, we've been all over. We traveled with the business, and we still can't wait to come home and do this. Lori Nair owns Tater Mash Embroidery near 31st and Harvard. It started 22 years ago after her daughter, who was in a wheelchair, needed a special bag to go along with the chair. Nair sewed the first one and has made many since. I still have fun here. I still enjoy it and I have great people that work with me and if it wasn't for them, couldn't do it by myself. Initially, her business was confined to trade shows, but it got so busy it turned into this brick and mortar. She's not the only female business owner to see success. The equality indicators score factors 0 to 100. In the latest data, Tulsa scored a 61 in business ownership by gender, a 14-point jump since the city started keeping score. As long as we've been in business, I don't know if we would have made it without networking with other small business. One indicator seeing a significant decline, homelessness by disability status. There's a couple more resources that we could use. We met Walt Lewis back in February. He's homeless and bound to a wheelchair. Back in 2018, Tulsa's homelessness by disability score was at 35. Since, it's dropped by 15 points down to 20. The struggle is real. Um, people take advantage of the struggle and they're not, they, they're not used to it because they're not having to go through it. Been re the city's been releasing this report since 2018, and a letter from Mayor G.T. Bynum published in the report says the numbers themselves don't tell Tulsa's story, but he says it's part of a bigger story of progress. Karen, these are just a few of the 54 indicators in this report. There's a lot more to go through. And there are a lot of points in this, and as a matter of fact, I looked through the report as well and found a few key insights that I'd like to highlight for you as well. Tulsa's overall score is 42.37 out of 100. That score is slightly lower than the 2022 report, which was at 42.85, but it's not bad news. 2022 was the highest score the city's made since it started compiling the report back in 2017, and last year's report still scored higher than 2018 to 2021. So while the data indicates Tulsa still has work to do, the numbers are generally rising. The lowest score is in payday loans and banks by geography. Tulsa scored just one out of 100 in that category, followed by officer use of force by subject race, scoring 11. TPD workforce by gender scored 18, followed by housing cost burden by income, which scored 19. Tulsa did snag two perfect scores, housing complaints by geography and veterans affairs appointment wait time, both scored 100. Those are just some of the highlights. There are 72 pages of results to look through and countless more pages of raw data. We're looking through it for you, so follow along on cagerage.com and that's also where you can find the full report to read for yourself.